eat spaghetti! How's it going, everybody? I uh, hope you guys like this video. It's going to inform you for prepping for episode 6. So let's dive on in. It's going to be about photon boosters and what they're used for. So we come over here in the shop, photon boosters. We can go and see them right here. We're going to select them. We already know they give us mini EXP. And we know they give us several other things like the daisy chain, which is now what, 11 star. You can trade that in for X cubes. I don't recommend it because it's 50 boosters per one X cube. You just run triggers. There's some other things in here that are not really worth your time. The whole point is to save them. All right, so now we can come over here to the counter and we're going to go and select uh, advanced capsules. And we have several different ones we can pick from, A, Bs, and Cs. Uh, you can also do advanced uh, D, Zs, and Fs, but I like to pick uh, a few of them. And for me, I like to pick uh, Floating Facility for my A's. I think it's really good for the PSE burst and cross burst. And besides that, I do the Abandoned Iron Mines for B's, which I enjoy just as much. And then uh, for C's, uh, it's kind of your own personal choice. I don't really have a personal uh, opinion on C's, but this is also pretty good. There's some other ones out there that uh, you might like or enjoy to farm for Photon Boosts, but it's up to your discretion. Honestly, you might not like any of the ones I chose, but, you know, find what, what you like. But make sure you plus 50 it when you enter. Plus 50 really matters. All right, so the reason why we're prepping for is for Liberators, pretty much. Uh, it's right, it's going to be around the corner, not too far off, maybe another month or two. I can't give exact dates, but it is in Episode 6. And we're going to need certain mats for it, and we're going to need ultimate boosters, uh, more or less. And these ultimate boosters, uh, we're going to need 50 of them, and that's, you know, uh, 4,500 photon boosters, which is quite a bit, and that's just for one weapon. We're, we're not talking about the units for each one, if you even want them. Uh, they're good for alt classes and so on and so forth. Certain builds, uh, having a liberator is pretty nice. I know for me, for a twall, I want a liberator wand. It's going to make my life great. So I already know that I'm going to have to have a good amount of ultimate boosters for several uh, classes and characters. And if you play a Scion class, you know you have three weapons. Having three weapons is you know, going to be a significant amount of photon boosters. So I wouldn't sell them. I wouldn't waste your money on it. Uh, just for that, was it 600k you get from vendoring it? I wouldn't do that. I would just hoard them as long as you can and keep them. And your class cubes, I wouldn't turn them into EXP tickets. Uh, I would use them to get augment transfer passes. I'm not going to get into all that, but I would just hoard the, your class cubes as much as you can. Just maybe set a few to the side. You know, if you're a Scion class, maybe you want to put uh, 200 for one weapon, or maybe the Scion class you want to have four or 600 for all three weapons or two weapons. So. You may want to have, you know, a uh, thousand X cubes around for maybe two weapons, or maybe you want 1,500 X cubes sitting around ready for this to come out. So th there's some things we got to prep for, uh, for Liberator when it's coming, and we're going to use the novel weapon series to upgrade into a Liberator, and you're going to have a novel plus 35. That's going to go into it. But just wanted to inform you that with Liberator around the corner, uh, you might have already sold most of your photon boosters, which I don't recommend. I recommend you hoard them as much as you can. Uh, you know, 30k photon boosters is nice, but then you you know one class you use them on, next you know you're back to zero. You know, and then you're like, wow. So it takes some time running advanced quests, um, very hard, super hard, whichever way you want to look at it. You know, you could spend you know five minute run, or you could spend almost an hour in one of them, depending on the cross burst. So based on that, you know you're only getting maybe 100 to 300 photon boosters a run, maybe you get a little bit more. But when you think about it all in timing, you're spending a lot of time invested in getting all this. And if you don't save them now, you're going to be spending hours of grinding sessions just to try to catch up and living for these photon boosters. So right now is a good time to hoard them. And I recommend that everyone could just start hoarding them, do your capsule runs, and save them. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you found it informal and it helped you out there to start your grind on getting photon boosters. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe, like the video, comment below, tell me how you feel about it, uh, and so on and so forth. And if you don't like the video, give it a downvote. Say, yeah, it's crap. 
that's fine. I'm new to video editing and I'm still messing with things, so I'm not the best at it. So any tips is great. I appreciate it. You guys have a great one out there, and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.